Hello, welcome to a video from Equalizer.com. In this video we are going to use Casio FX115ES Plus Scientific Calculator to evaluate integral and derivative. This calculator can evaluate, which means that it gives you value, only a number. No X or no Y or no other variable. So this can evaluate, uh, which means for this equation, it takes the integral or integrates this equation mm, with respect to x with the sum bounds, uh, let's say from 1 to 2. So these are the value that it can do. So you must have a bound. Without a bound, this calculator cannot work and cannot integrate uh, the integral. So it just evaluates. Let's mm, do that. For integration, we press this button beside the calc with the integral sign and then we enter our equation from here to here so 2x I'm pressing 2 and then for the x x is red all these red signs work when you press alpha so I'm pressing alpha and then x so that's 2x after that square root press the square root underneath 1 plus x squared 1 plus and then again alpha x and I'm pressing this square beside the square root so this is exactly as it's appearing on paper so we can see it here now for the bound the cursor is blinking just go to the right one time and then twice it's at the lower bound now so I press 1 to go to the upper bound bound again go to the right now press 2 now this we have the equation just press equal sign so depending on the complexity of equations, sometimes it gets blank for a while, so don't panic. Usually it takes a few seconds, or depending on the complexity, it might take even a, about a minute or two. So don't worry, it will give you the answer, but it was very quick, so that was the answer. According to your uh, application, um, then you can have radian or degree, minus set at degree because we have sign here. So integral. Now, because we have a fraction, so it's better to have a fraction and then we see exactly as it appears on paper. So, inverse sine of x, the sign inverse, this is a sign for inverse, we press shift, sine inverse, and then x, alpha x, like before. And now this x has a parenthesis, so I have to close it as you can see there and then go to the denominator by pressing the lower arrow key and then alpha, uh, square root 1 minus x squared 1 and then minus and then I press alpha and then x again squared for the bound again I have to go to the right more right twice and then until it appears here I can go left but it has to go through all these steps so that's why right is the easiest one 0 and then one more to the right 1 over 2 I can put the actual fraction but the screen will look um, uglier I have space there so I'm gonna press 1 divided by 2 so that's the same as 1 <coughs> over 2 you see my equation now looks at the bottom so that's the same equal sign as you can see it takes a while so 5 over 2 pi that was the answer for this equation all clear now for the derivative again remember uh, this can evaluate let's say the, the, the question is that evaluate this, this f of x at f as f prime of 2 so meaning sometimes in uh, physics uh, and other applications you need to find let's say the velocity so the velocity of a function and evaluate it at 2 seconds, 3 seconds or so so you take the derivative which is then the velocity and then you evaluate with the value so this is the same, we are taking the derivative and evaluate it at 2 so then now f prime of x at 2 so <coughs> to for the derivative the same button this time with shift so d over dx, that's with respect to x, we're doing it. x to the power 4, same, alpha x. 
to the power 4, this was power and this with the square to the power of anything, so we have 4 now I press right arrow, it goes to the right sine 1 over x so this calculator as soon as you press sine it automatically put a parenthesis meaning I have to put another parenthesis when I do that so 1 over x 1 and then over automatically it comes and then x alpha x so remember this parenthesis we have one parenthesis here and that's the closing so this was the beginning that was the end now we have one more here and then another closing so I have to put go to the right one more closing now it's balanced this closing with a, that begin and that begin with this closing so now to put a value with the 2 go to the right as you see here that means d over dx at this value x 2 and then press equal sign it takes few seconds and that's the answer 0 0.209486 so that was evaluated at uh, f uh, at 2 so now let's do this one for this equation same thing uh, let's say y prime at 3 so alpha uh, same same thing because I have a big fraction here I'm gonna put the fraction first so that numerator and denominator I'm gonna put the value 1 plus sine x 1 and then plus I press sine parenthesis open for the sine alpha and then x and then close go down x again alpha x plus cosine plus cosine of and then alpha x and then close so this looks exactly as it's here now with the right arrow we are evaluating the derivative of this equation at 3 so that's 3 equal sign and that's the answer minus 0 0.061397 uh, thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe